Artifactors Union, Maxine Core Box. We're going to start with Maxine, the master herself. That's a lovely artwork of Science Grandma. And here is her render. Here's our sprue. Not a lot here. Um, we'll go body, face, backpack, left arm, right arm. D1, the body. Add D5, the face. Flip. Add D4, the backpack. Make sure the white end is on top. Turn to the left side. Add D2, the left arm. Don't forget that the wrist attaches there. Um, and that the backpack is fully cured before you do this. Alternatively, you could put this on before the backpack. Flip to our right side. Add D3, the right arm. Make sure the gun is going behind this pouch on her thigh. And we're all done. Maxine Agassi is assembled. Uh, hardest part is probably the backpack or just m maneuvering around the backpack. I didn't let it set and initially I even tried to put it in upside down. So um, that was it. It's really simple. Moving on. Artifactors Union Maxine Core Box. This time we are doing the totem. Her husband, Orville. That was the art. This is the render. Here is the sprue. I think we're going to go ahead and start with putting the body together, um, then adding the backpack and the handlebars, combine the smoke, and then do the wings and smokestack last. Where is that smokestack? There it is. E7, the body. E8 is the head. It's not quite looking straight on. It's ever so slightly tilted this way to his left. Um, you can see the back of his neck. It gives you a slightly better idea of how the head is supposed to go on. Okay, we're going to do E5, the backpack, next. If you're looking at the bottom, and a point of reference is this sort of tooth thing right here. It is going to slot in right there on his back. It'll look like this. Just make sure you push the back part okay, as far forward as you can. E10 is the handlebars. They're going to connect up here on that tooth. And that will connect with this part on the bit. There we go. You will need to thread the head through it, but that wasn't very difficult. E11, the left arm, is going to connect here and here on this wrist. There we go. Wasn't the easiest thing to finagle it in there, but honestly, I'm not sure you would be able to know the proper angle is without having both connection points. E6 is the bomb he is holding in his right hand. There it is. Look at the back of the wrist to make sure it's aligned properly. Since we're staring at his butt, this is E1, this bar his feet will be resting on, and this part will be covering his rump. All said and done, it looks like this. Combine E2 and E4 to make this smoke trail slash flight stand thing. Um, we're looking at the front of it, just FYI. Alright, grab yourself your flying grandpa. The smoke trail is going to connect here on his knee, travel up the thigh, and connect to the smoke bit here. It'll be glued like right on the bit. Um, yeah, I'll just show you. Quick look bit here. The knee will go inside this little pocket right here, and the thigh will glue to this. Um, here we go. All right, back you can see it's just hugging the thigh, and the front. We have here E3 the wings. E6 the last bit. The smokestack is gonna glue right here in the center of it, and the smoke is be going down in this little hole. There we go. That's what it looks like, and the view from the bottom. Now just glue it here and make the smoke align with this part. Voila! Orville Agassi, the totem. The flyboy. Air Grandpa. Anyway, the hardest part was honestly just getting his head onto his neck. The rest of it went together pretty well. Maxine Corbox, the EVS keyword. This time we are doing Kia Manimi, the captain of the exploration vessel Superior. And overall big lady. Here's our artwork. And our render. We are blessed with only seven pieces, so we're gonna grab most of the torso, add the rest of the torso, then the leg, backpack, head, arm with the spear, and then do the left arm last. Start with F1. Um, ignore all this stuff that kind of looks like I had glued it earlier. I definitely didn't royally screw up the order. Add F6 the head. Very important you do this first. Next is F5, the front of the torso. If you decide, oh, I'll just put the head on later. Uh, it's too thick. 
thick to fit in the, the hole, so you gotta do the head first. Um, very important. Turn around. F2, left leg. F4, the backpack. Um, the backpack is connected to the sprues, like, right inside here and here, so be very careful trimming them out so you don't, you know, chop off one of these nubs or the pipe. Back around. F3 is her right arm and spear. The spear should be sitting gently on top of her belt. Right there. And left arm socket. And F7, the left arm, goes in the socket and wrist connects to the hand that was on the spear. And we're done. One big buff lady ready to poke things with the spear. Um, Kia Manimi. Done. Hardest part um, would be tearing the entire thing apart to put the head in between the two bits of the torso. Um, if you make that mistake, don't make that mistake. Um, and the other one's really just getting the left arm to really fit in the two spots it's supposed to connect to, but otherwise, pretty easy build. Artifactors Union Maxine Core Box, we're on to the minions, the machinists. Uh, the first one, Machinist A, is the one we have the artwork for. This is her. And this is our render. Here's our spur for the whole gang. We're only concerned with these four pieces. This one should be easy. Body. Arm, arm, head. A3, the body. Okay, A1 is our left arm with the big wrench thing. Focus. Uh, there's no real good connection point, as you can see there, so just try to match the render. There it is, A1, the left arm. Same with A2, the right arm, just match the render. Like so. And A4, the head. Okay, machinist A, done. We're going to call this one Jody. Yeah, the hard parts is just getting the arms on the body, um, just because there's no like strong connection point. You gotta be real careful with them. Moving on, Artifactors Union Maxine Core Box. We are doing Machinist B this time. No artwork. And here's the render. I guess these are numbered one through three, but uh, whatever. The bits are labeled B, so we're just gonna keep going with the letters. Right, we are going to go body, leg, other leg, put the wires on this ball thing, and then do the arms and the head. B1, the body, we're looking at the back side. B3 is our right leg, and we need that on first because it's part of where the left leg connects to. B2, the left leg. Okay, B6 is a little tricky. It's the tubes that go in there. And you're sort of looking at it from the top perspective, as in it would it would lay on the on the ground like that in the in the orientation is this way. And there's B6 and its proper place in orientation. The tube should more or less sit flat on the ground when you set them on a flat surface, so you can also use that to sort of get the orient orientation right. B5 is the left arm; it goes in pretty easily. B7 is the left arm. Um, oh shoot, no, that's the right arm. I got that mixed up. <laughs> so this is, B5 is the left arm, B7 is the right arm. Less of a solid connection point, but again, just use the render and you should be able to get the angle. Uh, the arms are still easier to go in than the last machinist. And B4, the head. Machinist B, all done. We're going to call this one Peter. Uh, hardest part was just getting the tubes aligned correctly on the, the ball robot thing he's stepping on. And uh, just making sure that you get the right leg on first before you try the left leg. Artifactors Union, Maxine Corbox, we are on the last minion. Machinist C, no artwork. So I'm going to go right back to the render. This stoic gentleman. There ain't much to look at. We're gonna grab the body, put the foot on, do both of the arms, and then the head. C1, body. C4, yield, left foot. C5 is left arm. It's got a really nice tooth and hole situation, so I'd say it's pretty easy to put on. C2 is our right arm. Uh, the render kind of looks like it's supposed to be sitting on a shoulder, but uh, there was no way I could get that connection point flush without it, you know, not sitting on a shoulder, so I Pretty sure this is how it's supposed to go. C3, the head. That's it. Yes, it does kind of look like he's scratching his own head with the wrench. Machinist C. We're going to call him Matt. 
and not really a hard part i guess now the the right arm with the wrench and just getting it situated is i guess the hardest part but probably the simplest model out of the three